So hey you guys, welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're not, if you're already a subscriber of mine, the chair squeaking, if you're already a subscriber of mine, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be showing y'all how to achieve this ponytail with when you have natural hair, thick natural hair. Um, I purchased this hair from Amazon. Most people be sleep on Amazon. Everybody is so focused on AliExpress or these other hair companies, but Amazon is where it's at. Because when I tell y'all this right here was a deal, the hair so. is called Jolia Hair One Bundle Deal Virgin Brazilian Curly Hair Weave 7A Unprocessed. And then it's now, um, the hair is very soft. When you first take it out of the pack, um, it won't look like this. You'll have to comb it out, maybe deep condition it and all of that. Well, not deep condition, co-wash it. Um, so I'll show y'all the products that I use to co-wash and shampoo my hair. When I first received it, I did co-wash it. I didn't shampoo it. Um, and when I did co-wash it, there was no color that came out. So that kind of gave me an indication that, okay, the hair is probably um, processed, like they said. So first things first, the conditioner that I used was this Aussie Moist. Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner quenches thirst, quenches thirsty locks in a flash. So I use that. Um, not that expensive either, like two or three dollars from Walmart. And then the shampoo that I use goes with it. So Aussie Moist, Aussie Mega Moist shampoo quenches thirsty locks in a flash. So yeah, these two kind of go together. They got the same name, so you're supposed to use them together. So make sure you stay tuned if you want to figure out how I achieve this ponytail okay so first things first you're gonna start off with freshly washed hair if my voice sound crazy it's because i just woke up and i gotta go to work and that's why my voice sound like this so if my voice sound crazy that's why so what you're gonna first do is start off with freshly washed hair um you're gonna part your hair in whichever direction you want it to be in i want mine on this side side part so I have a video on that already, so that's why I'm not gonna demonstrate that on camera. So if you want to, you can go back to my last video, I think it was, or the video before that, and see how I get my hair in a little ponytail that's way in the back. So when I'm done with my little bun, what I like to do is, for my edges, I like to use this Eco Styler Gel. So after that, what I like to do is take some Eco Styler Gel, and I have a toothbrush for my, especially for my edges. I don't brush my teeth with this, so. What I do is I take some Eco Styler Gel, and I put some on my edges. And then what I do is I just, well, first I wet the toothbrush because sometimes it be kind of stiff. So I wet the toothbrush. Then what I do is I go with my toothbrush and I just do my edges like that. heat damaged so some of it like at the top like up here my hair is like straight so I kind of try to try to blend it in as is and you want to make your bun as small as possible my hair is real thick and stuff like that so it's kind of hard to get it in a small um little bun or ball or puff or whatever okay so that's that for the bun um now I'm gonna show y'all the hair that I got from Amazon. Now, I'm signed up for Amazon Prime. So when you sign up for Amazon Prime, you get two free day, no free, two day shipping. And what I did was sign up with my student, um, I'm in college, so I signed up with my student email and they give you a free six month trial or whatever. So if you don't use your student email, then you get a 30 day free trial, I think. So anyway, it comes in a package like this. It came in two days. One was thick, um, when it dries, hold up. When it dries and then I comb it out, it gets it gets even fuller. But I don't wear it like this. So what you're gonna need is some bobby pins. I put mine in this. You can use some bobby pins for this part, and basically that's it. So what you're gonna do is first you're gonna take a um, bobby pin and you're gonna pin the hair right here like so now like i said my bun is kind of big so hopefully my hair 
doesn't stick out of this, but we're gonna see. So I'm gonna take this bobby pin like this and just pin it in somewhere as close as possible to the little ponytail holder. So, like that, like that. Okay, I kinda, I need to look in the mirror. Okay, so we're gonna take this like that and then just start wrapping it around. Make sure that doesn't come out. So then you're gonna start wrapping it around like this. And like I said, the bubble is really long, so it's like on the ground, it's dragging, dragging on the ground right now. So you just start wrapping it around. that look okay hopefully y'all can see it good enough i don't know but keep wrapping it around it takes about a minute or two because like i said the the bundle is long so yeah you keep wrapping it around wrapping it around it. now what i want to do is find some some hair that is um that resembles my real hair pattern, my curl pattern. Cause I think that'll look more realistic, but until I find that, this is what I have to stick with. So then for the last piece that you have right here, this piece of the, the track, you want to take a bobby pin and pin that in back there so that it's not like falling off or nothing. So you pin that in like that. And now I'm pretty sure that um, you can see the tracks like that around there. So what you're gonna wanna do is take a piece of hair from the bottom like that. You don't have to comb it out or nothing. So you take a piece of hair from the back, from the, yeah, the bottom or the back, and then you just wrap it around so that the tracks aren't shown so that nobody can see the tracks. So you wrap it around like that. Then you take another bobby pin so in all, I've used about three bobby pins and that's it. Yeah, basically that's it. So the hair looks like this. I could have did that a little bit tighter, but that'll be okay. So the hair looks like this um, right now. So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm on my way to work, I'm rushing. So I'm gonna take some water um, and then just spray the hair. Now, the only reason why I wet it is because I like how it looks when it dries. When it's wet, you can see that this doesn't look like my real let me focus it right there. This doesn't look like my real like hair pattern. Like it already don't anyway, but it looks better when it's dry. It looks more like my um, hair pattern. So like I said, this part up here is kind of coming up. So you can take a brush again and brush that, or you can either um, uh, put a scarf over it, or you can, I'm not gonna do it because I'm just going to wear it. I'm not going to wear special. So you can, so you can, um, I got water dripping down my neck. So you can take some got to be glue um, and put that over your edges, but I didn't feel like doing that. Or you can take some Gorilla Snot and do that. Um, yeah, those are my favorite types of gel. So yeah, that's what I do. Um, I'll come back later when I get off work and make the rest of this video so y'all can see what it looks like, like once it's dry and everything. So yeah, this is what it looks like now while it's still wet. Like I said, it does bother me because it's so big right there. Like so that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Um first off, let me show y'all like let me show y'all like how it looks and how good the hair looks. And you see like my hair right here is like wavy. So I gotta make that blend in with this. Make it now this side right here don't be too too like wavy because I have um heat damage, like I said. So it's like some straight pieces, some wavy pieces, but it'll be okay. So yeah, um, I hope y'all like the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, make sure you share the video. And I'll see y'all in my next one.